Gretna Park apartment residents complain of mold. Mm, mm, mm. Now listen, I don't know where Gretna Park is, but it sounds like a place that many people probably shouldn't want to live anyway. But let's take a look at it, okay? Hope you all ate. They Hope it all digested. They say they to live with moldy walls, leaky hot water heaters, backed up plumbing, and raw sewage in their tubs and in their sinks. Can't imagine. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor visited the Gretna Park apartments to get some answers. It's a story you'll only see on Sex Shay. Gina and Travers, I mean, one resident actually showed us around her unit. We found wet carpet from leaks, but then also molded, molded walls. And, and Hold on a second. Is this a gate right here, y'all? You see this? For, look, oh, child, everybody got to live somewhere, Michonne. Just calm down. Just, but I, I, this is a gate. Is this a gated community? Because it don't look like it's like a gated community that is truly a gated community, if you know what I mean. What is going on? What is not her? I'm talking about back here. Not her. I like that hair color. Go girl. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's let's go. Get ready. And raw sewage inside of tubs. She tells me that she's been complaining to management about these issues for months now. The toilets haven't been working properly. Um oh hell no. Hell no. <laughs> No, she's not. You are lying right now. Hold up. You all already. Makeup, we. Hey, spiders, makeup, we. Hey, we got a new song. We got a new song. You all are the gift that keep on giving us. For 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 giving us. Hey. Our priorities are definitely in place. I, I don't understand why there is even a problem with SYCBM. I don't understand. I think it's all good. I think we're doing great. Girl, you doing a good job. Girl, you doing a good job. Shout out to Mr. Palmer. Come on, Keyshawn, child. What, what is going on? Her name is Keyshawn, y'all. Keyshawn. All right. Come on, Keyshawn. What is going on, child? And before y'all ask, I'll ask it first. Where the man at? Um, leaks, mold, mildew, um, rat infested. Um, the latest problem is the feces have been coming out of the tub because the system is so backed up. The conditions scream horror. So just stepping on the, the, the carpet is... Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing this? I don't even remember the reason why she called the um the locals in the uh, news media in. There's so many reasons, y'all. I don't even remember what, what. Maybe because it's bad. Maybe she's not even getting evicted. Shout out to her. At least she, at least she paying the rent, child. I think. But child, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Mm 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 mm. She made sure she was looking good for this. Quote unquote, looking good for this interview though. Go girl, spidering it up, child, spidering it up. It's, it's literally wet. It is, it is drenched in water and it's been like this for a while. Inside a unit, Keyshawn Harris says she's been living in with what they use in this room for. Like, like, look at this. What, what, what is going on in this room here? It, y'all. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, the Twilight Zone, it's the Twilight Zone. I just want to know, did you move in and it looked like this or anything like this, okay? Then I want to know, when the first thing happened, okay, the... <laughs> Oh my God, y'all are too much. When the first thing happened, what did you do? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, what did you do? So, so I see a running thing. I know, I know I'm wrong. I mean, I'm masculine. I'm pandering. Got it. Chameleon, all of that, all of it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm just wondering, right? If you had a significant other, a, a man, a husband, and, and the first thing went wrong, would he just be like, oh, well, we'll just stay here. And then the second thing went wrong. And then he's like, oh, well, we'll just stay here. And then the third thing went wrong. It'd be like, oh, well, we'll just stay here until there's 15 things wrong. You're probably sick. And now it's a problem probably because you're sick. Like, obviously, this is disgusting. It's, it's obvious that this is disgusting, right? But are we... Are we, are we looking at our landlord-tenant agreement? Are we looking at our contract? You know, them contracts that we sign and what we agree to do. Now, this ain't right on any, any way, shape, or form. Not at all. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Now, here's a, re excuse me. Now, here's a reason. You remember the lady, if you was watching me then, when we did the documentary where the woman said, it's Biden's fault that um, she's uh, getting evicted and she ain't got no place to live? And there was another girl in that same video that just had a baby pandemic started and she lived in a place like say she lived in Texas and there was heat, but there was no air conditioning. So the, the, which I'm gonna call it wouldn't, the landlord wouldn't fix the air conditioner or give her an air conditioner. So she went and she stayed in a hotel and she didn't pay the rent instead of going and using that money to buy window air conditioner. But I digress. This is a woman who needs to go stay in a hotel. While she says, in writing, following the procedure, we will not be living here until all this is corrected. Now, mind you, this is probably, this is obviously more than one apartment type thing, right? But ain't no way. I'm sorry. That's all I can say is ain't no way. I, 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 ooh, child. I, listen, you are right about military people having had military people in my life all my life. They are definitely neat freaks. All I know is neat freaks. They're very disciplined. Agree. But you couldn't pay me. I couldn't, I wouldn't pay you one cent to live here. Not one penny to live here. Ain't no way. I, ain't no way. And I'm not saying that there's other people, there's not others who are in these types of situations, but damn it, it certainly seems like it's a lot of people that look like me that be in these situations, okay? A lot. A lot. And no, it's got absolutely nothing to do with having a husband, but dag nabbit. It's got to do with having some common sense and trying to figure out how to work through things. That's why if somebody's going to call me masculine, that's fine, because I'm going to figure out a way to get my family up out of this, man or no man, because I would never have my family live like this. We, we have to move in with my mother that I don't get along with before I live like this. We're going to get along when I need to be there. I tell you that. Ain't no way I would have my children in no mess like this. Ain't no way. All this. I'm independent. I got it going on. I could do it all by myself. All that. This, this, is, this is what we're doing. And then, of course, you know, you y'all already know, crusty, dusty, musty, ashy. And Jermaine, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. With her children since 2020 at Gretna Park Apartments. Its name recently changed to the Boulevard Apartment Homes along Gretna Boulevard. The hole came Tuesday. The hot water heater bust up there. So that water has... What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Lord have mercy. The hot water heater bust up there. So that water has been leaking for days. But I've been reported this area since June of 2022. Who? Since June, we are in November, basically. Since June. I've been reporting this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Child wants to get up and get all their children together to take a shower. So we would have to climb up here and stand on both sides of the tub 
and shower like this. Did y'all see that? <laughs> can't do it. I can't do it. What? <laughs> y'all, this is worse than the people in ATL. Why would I take a shower like... Why would you... I can't make sense of the twilight zone. I can't, I can't, I can't make sense of the twilight zone, but I know not all, but all that I've been seeing black women, y'all are living it up. Shout out to Ja Rule. What is going on? Let me take this comment off. What is going on? That stuff looks green. I mean, I guess Drano ain't even going to work up in that. You're living here. You're staying here. We down that bad. <laughs> Shout out to Ooh Larry. The sneaky leaks don't know how to fix nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. We needed that laugh. I needed that laugh. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I cannot. Come on. Come on. Sheesh. And stand on both sides of the tub and shower like this. Harris says her and her kids have been so. Three kids. Three kids. We just going to have them living in that filth, that mess, that mold, that whatever is in the toilet, taking showers like that. <sighs> suffering from sicknesses because of the conditions nosebleeds and sinus infections harris says she and others have been reaching out to management at the complex for months to no avail i wrote letters to the owners she don't have no furniture in here and look at this door look at all this there is no furniture anywhere in this place there's nothing in here. I mean, you don't need to have anything in here, of course, but what is going, you know what? It has been neglected for so long. Um, the calls are going unanswered. We acquired the property in January of 2022, and it was in severe disrepair. And we've been working diligently with HUD and with the city of Gretna to get it on track. We have dramatically improved the property. The issues in this unit are being corrected as we speak. It don't look like it, but you know what I hear, y'all? You waiting around to have the government do something. And I'm pretty sure that this is not at the top of their priority. That's HUD. I'm not staying here. My kids is not staying here. Mm-mm. 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 This is, this is pretty sad. This is this is very sad. But you know, I'm a good mama. I'm a good mama. Uh, shout out to Super Patriot. I don't disagree with you that this is a slumlord, at least the first person, because it's now been bought. So it's the second person that's now working on clearing stuff up. But at the same time, we got to get to a place where we're not so desperate that we will take anything. Cause ain't no way this place looked like anything type decent when they first went in here. Now I'm not saying that this tub looked like this, but I'm pretty sure it didn't look like the Taj Dama hall. Not at all. But someone said, I'll take it. We got to do better. We got to want better. We got to ask for help. If we need it, we got to figure this type stuff out. We need to stop entering into contracts and we don't know what we're doing. Did they go ahead and send a certified letter to the daggone uh, maintenance people saying that we demand a demand letter? Did they do that? Because I'm pretty sure it's similar to the same thing as what the rest of us got to do. And then they knew they would be serious. And then if they didn't, then they could with withhold rent. Or we would be in a damn hotel. Or we would be living with 
they my kids will be living with their fathers instead of sitting here making them suffer with this. Do we really love our children? And I don't know that there is a father. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. We just saw a woman whose son is just sold two thousand dollars. Now all of a sudden he got to go live with his father. I'm pretty sure most of the time they do. But instead of going ahead and saying we need some help, even reaching out to him to say we need some help, we can't live like this unless he's a complete jackass and in jail. I would hope that he would want to do something to help his kids. Even if the minimum is to say they can come stay with me. But why is that not a thought ever? That's never, that's never seemingly being a thought until they steal $2,000 from you. So you can't pay the rent. Now you want to get rid of them because it affects you because it's about you. You're not thinking about them. You're thinking about you because you got money stolen from you. So it affects you. So now you got a problem, but this, is everybody so you'll figure it out you'll suffer they all can suffer you're not thinking about them on that type of time and that type of level that you're just going to keep your kids in here knowing they're getting sick they're being exposed to mold you said that there's rats this mess right here in the tub ain't no furniture in here everything is wet what's the food look like she said rats what's the food look like mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes, I know that people can come down on bad and hard times. I got it. I understand it. I know that. I got it, y'all. I got it. I got it. But she certainly got the spiders and makeup and weave working, okay? And I'm going to leave it at that. In the meantime, Keyshawn says she and her family will not be renewing their lease come October 31st, but fears for those with no other options. I really did this for the people that's here 